Hello, it's Miss Sarah, and today we're going to be reading this story called Clark the Shark, and it is written by Bruce Hale, and it is illustrated by Guy Francis. So before we get started reading, I want you guys to take a good look at the cover and think about, just by looking at this image, where this book might take place at. And then, once you got that locked in your brain, I want you to think about some characters we might see throughout the story. All right, let's go ahead and find out. Clark the Shark. Pretty cool school bus. <laughs> in all the wide blue seas, in the wide blue world, the top school for fish was Theodore Roosterfish Elementary. And all of the fish at Theodore Roosterfish Biggest and strongest was Clark the Shark. Clark loved school and he loved his teacher, Mrs. Inky Dink. She loved to play upsy downsy and spin him a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. School is awesome, shouted Clark the Shark. Less shouting, more reading, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the Shark. Munch your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the Shark. You are playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. School is awesome, Clark the Shark says. Do you guys know what awesome means? Do you guys think school is awesome? Awesome means something you think is really exciting, you're overwhelmed, you can't believe how much you like it. So if you don't think school is awesome, what do you think could be awesome? Football, maybe your family. You think school is awesome. Yes, Clark loved his life with all his sharky heart but he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild, and he was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would play with Clark. No one ate lunch with him. No one sat with him at circle time. Even his best friend, Joey, said, cool your jets, Clark. You're making me crazy. So do you guys remember a time where no one sat with you? Maybe at lunch or wouldn't play with you at recess because you were just too crazy. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, what's wrong with everyone? Mrs. Inky Dink patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard, you munch too hard, and gosh, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and place for everything, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and sometimes the rule is stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing and got too much zing. Sorry, said Clark. I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Mackerel at lunch. Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark. I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. Starving. Does anyone know what starving means? It means you're so hungry you would almost eat anything. You just haven't eaten in a long time and you're starving. Like when I come home from school, I'm definitely starving. In class, Clark tried to play, tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, this isn't the time nor the place. Tell me what the rule is. Stay cool, said Shark. Hey, that rhymes, he cried. Then Clark got an idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teacher's talking, don't go walking. And what do you know? It worked. Attaboy, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Clark smiled. Lessons are fun. So his rhyme was, when teacher's talking, don't go walking. 
What two words rhyme in there? When teacher's talking, don't go walking. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. When Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark, gr Clark grinned, lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it, that's the way. Then my friends will let me play. And playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. What about in that one he made? What are the two rooms, two words that rhyme? Then my friends will let me play. Easy does it, that's the way. Then my friends will let me play. What two worms, words rhyme in there? <clears throat> but then a shadow fell across the playground. A ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. It's a new kid and he looks scary, cried Joey. Swim for your lives. The squid smashed the side and it snapped off the swing. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. So what do you think? are some ways that maybe they should welcome in and him into the school rather than say he's scary. Probably not very welcoming, huh? <laughs> Wait, said Clark, he just wants to play. Let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he ever had before, upsy downsy and spin him a jig. Why, he even made up a new game called Tail Wimpa Lumps. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly, and he settled down. If you want to come to school, you got to stay cool, said Clark. So cool and school. Those definitely rhyme. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Zinky Dink, and thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark, everyone cheered. That's right, Clark's mother asked, and what did you learn at school, dear? There's a time and place for everything, said Clark. Sometimes you have to stay cool. But sometimes a shark's gotta do what a shark's gotta do. So after reading this story about Clark, why is it important, do you think, that we have rules in our classroom? And what are some rules that you guys heard me talk about and read about throughout the story that we have in our own classrooms today? All right, think about those and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.